Hi there. So I've moved into another room in my house. <laughs> so I figured it would be kind of fun to show you um, basically a good setup if you're going to do virtual classes or even instruction, um, because I think I'm trying to slowly get um, the distances down really well. You know what that means? Like um, the height of the computer, the how far away you need to be from your mat. Like I feel like all of those things they're hard to measure and it depends on your height, right? So um, so bear with me. So we're gonna play a little bit. I'm gonna turn you around. Okay, so there's the bed <laughs> that's getting moved. Um, ignore that. But so like here's my computer. I did finally invest in a um, computer stand, which is also like a music stand. But I think that this is really nice because you can change the height and you can change the tilt. And I think that that's, and it folds up into like a really tight, you know, um, a narrow thing to store away. So here's my computer. I'm going to turn around and then there's my mat set up. So I'm going to measure with my feet. I'm going to start basically here. I'm a size nine shoe. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, roughly eight of my feet. And also I'm going to spin me around. When I lie down, I want to be able to open my arm and not hit the wall. So actually, I need to scooch closer to this edge, and I can just barely clear the wall. So if I were to set myself up as a student or a teacher, I would put my computer down there, and I turn on Zoom, and then I step back, and I make sure I can see myself. Then I put it on gallery view because I can see the gallery view of the person and me the best with my vision. Um, if you do it where you're only watching this, the teacher or the student on the big screen, it's totally fine, but you can't see yourself in the corner. And sometimes it acts as a good mirror. So just something to think about. Then I stand as close to a wall as I can get and I hold my arm out and then I look down, you know, essentially at the floor and that's the minimum I can be from a wall, right? Because if I'm going to open my arms out to the sides, um, then I also have very short ceilings. But um, obviously, you would just do the same thing out to the side as well. Like, I'm not going to hit a wall over here. I'm not going to hit a wall over here. Um, believe it or not, if you rotate yourself into a corner, it tends to give you a lot more length, not only in a room, you know, like obviously the corner to corner length distance can be longer than, you know, a flat edge to flat edge, diagonal to diagonal, give you, gives you more space. And then if you had a twist, because the wall is slanted, you sometimes get more room. So a lot of times if I find that I'm a little short on space, I'll go into a corner and usually that can self-correct it. But get yourself something to give your computer enough height gallery view if you're using zoom put your arm out so that you're not hitting a wall behind you and then kind of measure yourself that way use a corner to give yourself a little bit more length um, and then that usually will set you up for a really good distance for zoom and then also i have this great little basket it comes with me everywhere um, and it fits pretty much all my stuff it's really hardy because i've got actually some pretty decently heavy weights in here um, and so it can actually hold everything and then as i move from room to room i just simply lift it and take it with me so i highly recommend some sort of basket or um i also have a um a bag with handles sometimes sometimes i bring it um but yeah that's my advice for your home setup. I know everybody's been doing this all of quarantine, but like my clients who put their iPads on the floor, it's been 18 months. Let's get a better setup. All right. Hope that helps. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Hi, everybody. I'm going to wave back. I'm going to wave back. Sorry, I did not get to do that. I was too busy trying to get the information out. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.